Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video we're going to be looking at our two Bolins G12s. The G12s were fitted with a 12 horsepower Tecumseh engine and with the usual three gears on the gear stick here, high and low range on another stick here and being able to change the belts over to have another high and low range. These tractors were effectively 12 speed. This one here you can see is fitted with the hydraulic lift kit whereas the one over there just has the lift lever. You might have also noticed that the cylinder is missing because we borrowed that for a different tractor. This tractor we've had for quite a few years now and it's not one of our frequent runners and we don't use it, use it too often. You might remember this one we only bought a couple of months ago. It has a, something a bit strange going on with that tyre. And the chassis seems to actually be painted green on this tractor, which we could see quite clearly on the back axle when we were unseizing the drive pin in the last video. This G12 is probably going to be a future project but until then it's probably going to go in storage. Before it goes in storage though, we're going to do a couple of things to it, including cleaning it. Much of it's dried so far hasn't come up too badly. We're just gonna let the rest of it dry under the sun now. While the other G12 is drying, you can probably hear we've started up the hydraulic lift kit G12 and we're gonna take that for a drive. We didn't film it because we had to jump start it because the battery's dead.
that was nice to drive the G12 after a couple of years of not driving it. There was a couple of things we noticed. Uh, a couple of years ago, we accidentally um, spilt some oil on the exhaust and it looks like that's still burning off. And also it sounded like there was a bearing to be replaced in the starter generator because that was a bit like, rattly. The tractor's finally dried now and we've brought it in the workshop. We've noticed a couple of things. The first being that there isn't the usual pin on this wheel and it won't come off. So we're not quite sure what's happened there. But, and it's the same on the other side, but a little bit worse because it seems to have seized while it's not fully on the stub axle. Another thing we've noticed is that someone seems to have left the UJ on the PTO, which can be quite dangerous. But And we'd usually take that off, but as it's held on by quite a rusty roll pin in there, and the fact that this tractor doesn't have a PTO belt, it's probably quite safe. Another thing we noticed down here is that the pulley is incorrect. Our next job with this G12 is to put it into storage. It was nice to have a bit more of an in-depth look at it and I look forward to have it being a project in the future. It was also nice to run and drive the other G12, which we haven't done in a couple of years. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. As usual, comments are welcome and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video and see our other videos. More to follow as we do more on this tractor. Bye!